All right, for some reason, Reed Smith decided to get addicted to fucking Zins. I don't know what this shit is called, but I heard it will fuck you up. I don't really know nothing else except for that, but he, and he might explain it. He know what that's doing it, so I hope he explains it. Back of Zins. And inside are these cute little tiny pillows filled with the world's most addictive substance. And this is me, a guy who has never tried- right, why would you do that? The world's ad most addicti addictive su su fuck, bro, nicotine whatever. in his life and has the stupidest ideas because over the next month, I'm going to get myself addicted to them on purpose why to prove to my active <laughs> hey, friend hey, that hey. if he actually oh, wanted shit. to quit he would oh, oh shit he doing them yeah this nigga definitely doing them 100 i don't run it down my mind purpose. why to prove to he is because over the next month i'm gonna but get look. myself addicted to them on purpose that shit fuck that nigga up. why to prove to my addict of a friend that if he actually wanted to quit nah, he's he would he's actually putting like 20 a day on this side and like nothing happens. <laughs> so will i be able to get clean and unaddict myself or will i just be another victim to nicotine there's only one way to find out hey, hey. first ever pouch upper decky <laughs> god i'm actually scared why am i scared Hello. oh she's in there yep ah oh. Oh, it burns. Oh. Hey, if he can do this, he can do fat. Hey, get this nigga on fat. Somebody get this nigga on fat, please. Ah, oh. ah, oh, yo. Oh, Boys, we're supposed to be working. <laughs> what is going on here? Yo, are you good, bro? First Zinni ain't treating you too well, eh? Dude, I actually like how this shit. Dude, I didn't think it would hit like this. This is the like nice. lowest one, bro. Hard. I like four more, like higher strength ones. You said it would make me like work better. It now does. I'm like, walking around like, oh, god damn, bro. <laughs> Oh, it feels really dry. Is that supposed to be like that? It's gonna get wetter because you're gonna start salivating. Oh god, I can feel it coming, dude. Don't, My... don't swallow the spit. I just did. No, your stomach's gonna hurt now. Stop swallowing okay, the spit. Okay, you're trolling. You're no, trolling. You're trolling. Hey, your stomach hurts. Nah, what am I supposed to do? Spit it out? Why do you think you saw me and Nate spitting every five seconds? Nah, you're trolling. Oh, wow. I he was not so trolling. Sick right now. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what the f is going on i don't know if it's because i've never had nick in my life i had to lay down lightheaded i just feel so bad and i'm just honestly i i think i'm gonna try and just sleep it off because i don't know what is wrong with me right now but this is not good hey, now if you are familiar at all with zins you probably aren't too surprised that i died on my first time taking them but for the you are familiar oh some of Zin at all, all with right. Zins, you probably aren't too surprised that I died on my first time taking them. But for those okay. of you that are new to these little shuggies, I will give you an introduction. Originating from the land of meatballs, Ikea, and PewDiePie, they are most popular in Scandinavian countries. Just like vapes, they started making them cute, appealing, and totally real flavors, like Cooling Storm and Havana Breeze. What is that? A lot of That's people what, are transitioning from vapes to pouches because they're discreet. Five likes, I try Zins. On camera. You can use them indoors and don't forget the light though. Johnson three inches smaller. Well, I guess we'll wait. It makes sure these pouches. Wait, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Nicotine, which is the most addicted to substance in the world. They're so addictive because they release this chemical called dopamine, giving your brain the oh yeah. Oh my God, I just won the lottery. Need that feeling. But wait, here's the kicker. Wait, no. Your brain no, 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 gets no. hooked on that dopamine, and you begin to keep going back despite knowing it's a bad idea. Like my eighth grade gym teacher in the girls' locker room. What? And soon enough, you're trapped in the cycle. 80 to 90% of people that start nicotine get addicted. And studies show that one in two people are addicted to nicotine. And I'm not nicotine dependent, at least not yet. So... One, two. Is this nigga, this nigga about to get No. <laughs> also, He's about to get sugar gliders are a lot more potent than vaping. <laughs> When vaping, a huge percentage of the nicotine gets dispersed into your body before getting into the bloodstream. These little Zimbabwe's directly deposit nicotine right into your bloodstream instantly. So Damn. for all of you nicotine addicts that are saying, oh, three milligrams isn't a lot to start. Shut the, shut the fuck up. All right, here's the plan. It may not seem like it because I actually died taking my first one, but that was actually the lowest dose possible. Three milligrams. He so bad. the plan is to start at the bottom and take two to three pouches each day. And then when I finish the pack, I'll be upping the strength three times until the bro, final GG, boss bro. of Zins. The under-the-counter, really questionable this? ones that have enough nicotine in them to put your grandmother in a fucking coma. And then I'll begin my rehab process, where realistically, I should just do the reverse of what I did and taper down slowly. But for the ah, challenge, shit. I'm going to do a hard cutoff and just stop taking them entirely. To be honest, I'm a little scared. I tend to have a very addictive personality, which is one of the reasons why I never started vaping when it was popular. But hey, anything for YouTube, right? Oh, nah, you wild. So over the next week, I started Yo, devouring. 
Eight poppin' differences. Pack. It absolutely sucked at the start. Almost every time I took one, I felt nauseous and lightheaded. But over time, it got better. And I actually started to enjoy taking them, but... Aww, oh, no. For the first couple of days of this challenge, I had to remind myself to take the pouches for the video. But now I'm realizing that I'm taking them without even thinking about it. I've also gotten a lot more... Bro, this thing is already At addictive. least for the three milligrams, it's not that bad anymore. My friends told me that taking these would help me like work better and I'd be more productive. But to be honest, if anything, I've just been so like nauseous and lightheaded a lot of the time that it's done the opposite. So yeah, I'm still waiting for that. Maybe later on in the challenge that'll change, but I don't know. Hey there, future editing read. Um, so it turns out putting a little white fuck in my mouth is not the most entertaining thing ever. So instead of boring you with the addiction process, I thought I'd just show you the best moments. So uh, here you go. This is my, this is my, this is, this is Zin number f it, I don't know, like 20 oh, something. Oh, nah, bro. See? Just throwing his bag. Great daddy wellness. Oh, Are the bees buzzing? Damn, I what? See? See? Fuck off. Yes. Hey guys, Fuck new mission. Me. I just found this video. They got the Ford F Zin 50 out here. We need to find this. The Zin oh, truck. I no longer feel the burn when I take them, so I'm probably officially addicted. Ah, oh, ah, oh, come on, ah, oh, come on, man. Bro, are you good? Uh, I think I'm gonna throw one. Oh my fucking god, it burned. Oh, the jump from six to eleven is so fucking bad. With this Seconds, started can, can you still get addicted if you don't Wait, like it though? Apparently one of the benefits of these things is that it's supposed to be like discreet and not noticeable. But why the fuck do I look like the Grinch right now? Ladies with gentle hands, the moment we've all... Well, I, was, well, I was drinking the Grinch. Oh god. Oh god, I'm not ready for this. Okay, upper decky? No, lower decky. Ready? Go. Fuck. Holy f Holy shit. Holy shit. Alright, ow, ow, sorry, it's the birds. Wait, what happened? Holy shit. Go. Fuck. Holy f Holy shit. Holy shit. Alright, ow, ow, sorry, it's the birds. Fuck me. God, it's big too. <laughs> Fuck me, it hurts. Ah. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's God, big oh, in his oh, mouth, huh? Oh, it's Oh, no! It's killing my throat. Oh my Damn, god. it's giving him up. Oh my god. Oh. The meanest Zen strokes. So, uh, it's been a month. Uh, little location change. I'm not gonna lie, I should have thought this through. Uh, cause being on vacation is not the best for this challenge, but what can you do? But anyway, I am done my addiction process. And what have I learned? These things are Fantastic. I'll toss one of these puppies before I do a workout when I get up from bed when I go to work. AGGs. I knew it. I knew it. Bro. Every time I'm doing something and it, he's now fully it does wonders. It's not even I a video on the board. It's because he's I actually up, addicted. Like fucking choking on it and dying. So I wouldn't recommend that. But you know what though? I have been shitting on my <laughs> friends for so long about taking these and Fuck. now oh, man. I get it. Like I don't need them. But I want them. It's just so convenient and nice yeah, this one. GG's, bro. I, I don't, I don't know done. how else to explain it. I feel like I just don't have energy when I don't have one in. They've also made me not really want to <gasps> snack. I'll usually just snack throughout the day, all day, every day. Uh, but ever since I've taken these, I just really haven't been snacking much. I did have friends say that this would happen. Maybe I've lost like five pounds or something. I don't know. I have to fact check that, but I feel like I look better. I will say though that I have been a lot more stressed lately and Maybe it's because of these, maybe it's not. I am working on this really big project with my friend for another uh, video on a different channel. So maybe it's that. But yeah, I have been a lot more like anxious and stressed lately. At least a lot more than I usually am. I'm not gonna lie, these 15 milligram ones burn the f out of me still. But a few days ago, I had one of my buddies give yeah. me a 3 milligram one yeah. while we were at the gym. And that shit was weak as f It didn't burn, it didn't, I didn't feel anything to be honest. And that's how I know I'm seriously f 
because that three milligram one took me out in the beginning. Honestly, now that I'm on these pouches, I don't really want to go off, but just getting addicted and that's it <laughs> would be a pretty lame challenge for a video. Anyway, I'm done with my addiction process. It's time for the rehab section. Oh, he got stopped doing it. Let me take you back to Vancouver where I interviewed a bunch of people to see what they thought about Zins and what they thought about this challenge. So I will see you at UBC. The university and home of Shrek? Oh, hello, man. What's going on? Hey, uh, I don't know. This guy's, I think he's hammered. I don't know. Anyway, my first couple interactions went something like this. Are you addicted to nicotine? No. Do you want to be? No. Have you ever seen what this is before? Hey, no. sell him on the street. It's time to sell. Have you guys ever seen this before? Hey, you want some Zins? Hey, you want Zins, man? Do you want to get some Zins, man? No? Hey, girls. Are any of you addicted to nicotine? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Uh, no. Well, you, you can get some. You can, <laughs> hey. What the hell? Some right here. Yeah, what the hell, dude? Do you want hey, to? sell them to the kids. <laughs> sell them to the kids. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I think I'm in the wrong place here. And it turns out I don't was actually in sell drugs to kids. Place. I was in the chemistry wing. So to save myself any more embarrassment, I booked my ass all the way to the business wing. And immediately this happened. I'm doing a little thing where I'm trying to see if people know Maybe what he's doing. Yeah, you want one? Yeah, oh hell yeah. There's five empty packs in my room. Oh my god. Uh, can I get a look? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Man. All right. So apparently, if I just stand in front of the business school, uh, everyone, <laughs> do you know what this is? Yeah. You do? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, do you know what these are? Uh, Zen. Yeah. Yeah, I love Zen. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Um, oh, yeah. Zins? I yeah. love Zins. Yeah, I have a lot of friends too that like love these Zins. Big group of fellas. My odds are good here. Does any of you know what this is? Yeah, okay. All of these new so I, this is my first time hearing about it. I'm doing a challenge on YouTube where I, I've never taken nicotine in my life, never vaped anything. I'm getting myself addicted to these for like a month straight and seeing if I can just cut off. No. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, I don't Bad? Know. Dude, I, you don't oh, think I'll succeed? Dude, I really? Eat them. Addiction is a terrible cycle. Seeing the effects that it's had on people, I don't, know. I don't think you're gonna do it, man. You don't think so? Um, I don't know if that's the wisest. <laughs> I recommend you don't do this because you might not be able to. Well, that's a, that's a challenge, you know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But yeah, what the fuck am I doing, bro? Uh, I think some guys. I think I think it's possible. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> what tips can you give me for my? Cycle Damn. down. Damn. Uh, lots of Damn. water. Treat Damn. yourself good, you know, Damn. meditate, and then like find like some kind of habit to distract <laughs> yourself when you do have those cravings. Okay. Like, something to that stuff, yeah. right? True yeah. gum. Never an exercise. It works. Yeah. Exercise. Okay, yeah, I've heard like keep yourself distracted. Uh, yeah, 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 just oh, yeah. get nervous. Yeah. You'll throw up and then you're gonna feel yeah. shit. Okay. okay. True gum. True gum. People gotta understand like the long-term effects of these things and what it can cause, right? Yeah. So with me basically handing out drugs to kids and the campus crawling with security, let's move hey, on to- them up. It is 10 in okay. the morning right now and he sold I didn't kids. take us in this He sold them kids. Today it's fine, is the day of my JK, rehab JK process. Explains. Apparently the first few days or a week is the worst. So I'm gonna try and do my best to document this process and give you guys updates on how I'm feeling and stuff. Honestly guys, so far so good. Went to the gym and I got some work mm. done and I feel honestly fine. I feel like nothing. No cravings, nothing. So, I don't know. Maybe this challenge would be a lot easier than I thought. Okay, guys, I just finished Michael getting Jason ready for experience. bed and I, mean, I have a headache right experience. now. Experience. Um, it's not like the worst ever. It's not like too bad, but it's not normal. So, I'm assuming it's it's from the no nick, but but it could be just from being yeah, dehydrated. He, yeah, he's red, sun. bro. So, it's uh, three in the morning right now. Uh, I couldn't sleep, and so I started watching this show called Shogun. It's really good. Um, I don't think it's helping Yo, with my make insomnia it? at all because I've been so I, like amped up watching it. But yeah, hopefully I can get some sleep soon. This morning I just feel like super tired and low energy. But um, I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. I so saw I'm at the gym right now. I saw I'd update you guys real quick. I feel weak as fuck. Like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like 20% weaker in everything I do. Like, 80, 80 pounds feels like 100. Damn. I'm like, it's, it's weird. Everything's hard. I'm out of win, breath. Bro. I thought I, I was tripping win, at first, bro. but I did push-ups to test this because I know how much I can usually do. And I did not get close. I maxed out like 18. 18! What the fuck? You was getting super nah. strength using this. Okay, you guys know how I said that I was looking a lot better because I wasn't snacking and eating a bunch? Yeah, um, I've kind of reversed the progress. I've been snacking a lot more, but hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to snack healthy. Remember when I said I didn't need it? Yeah, that was a lie. I'm actually 
fiending right now. Oh my god, it's actually so bad, bro. I usually keep Even. Zins beside me while I work, and I just caught myself. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's hitting him subconsciously. bad. Subconsciously. Oh no, 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 that's bad. No, that's bad. actually bad. Even though I'm on vacation, all I do oh. is sit on my computer. Hey, he used day, to. Which is boring and makes me just think of taking the Zimbabwe all all day. Nah, that's actually so bad. I need, I need to get out. This is by far the worst it's been so far. My head has been pounding for the past hours and I feel so nauseous. I was, pan I was panicking a little bit and I did some research. So apparently it, the worst part is after a few days of cutting yourself off. So I'm just praying it doesn't get any worse than this because I feel f shit. I just want to I A fence dance. I read that getting sleep is the best thing you can do, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and get to bed awesome shit. early, and um, hopefully I can sleep this off. Alright, sorry I didn't record anything last night. I just felt way too shitty to record. I basically slept from like 6 p.m. to like 9 a.m. I woke up a couple times here and there, but my strat was. He's like, having the Don guy face. You know about Don guy bleach. I may not look it, but I actually feel a lot better. Hey, let me know if you're about bleach. Uh, sorry, I've been away for you a bit. Have a Don guy face right now. I've been doing pretty good. I'd be doing even better if these birds would be quieter. I still get cravings from time to time, but honestly, I think the withdrawal symptoms, like the hard withdrawal symptoms have gone away. Whoa. I'm doing a lot to just like keep distracting myself, like going swimming, or go playing sports, going to the gym. Oh, what do I mean? This, that, do I whatever, want him to be to, like, still addicted? Myself. Even I've been going out with friends a lot. Going out with friends especially worked really well to keep my mind off things until Thanks. last night. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Last night, a couple friends and I were having drinks and uh, one of them pulled out a pack of pouches. Everyone was having them, oh, and the hey, that was so strong that Damn. I had Eat to. It. I had to leave. <laughs> Got you, motherfuckers. You thought I was gonna fold. Okay, truth is, I was going to fold, but then I realized that I couldn't let you guys down. Okay, more like I didn't want to get flamed in the comments for failing the challenge, but but I was craving them so bad, and all my friends had them. So I just had to leave because there's no way I could stay around in that environment and not have them. So I just made up the worst excuse possible, and I just I just cut. We're in a different location. I can always say the water's bad. When in doubt, say your stomach. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah, he's strong though. Things are bad, but right now, a week in. Doesn't seem that bad, but I'll keep you guys updated. Well, I'm back in Vancouver. I don't know what I was thinking going on a vacation while doing this challenge. Not smart. I feel like I actually wasted a, a lot of days just just dying from nicotine withdrawal. But it's been two weeks now since I've quit, and I honestly, I feel normal. I haven't thought about popping a decky in days now, to be honest. Uh, and it kind of feels like I'm I'm right back to normal. Well, I'd probably say they didn't get this I was a able to kick a the symptoms within two weeks because I was only addicted for a month. Like I assume that if you were addicted for a year, it would probably take longer. And if Gosh, you were addicted for a couple of years, it would take even longer than that. Also, I've heard from other people that everyone is different, and some people have an easier time, some people have a harder time. But I'm actually genuinely very proud of myself that I was able to do this because it true. seemed like a huge like mountain before I started this. And I wasn't sure if I'd be able to to actually do it. Before getting into this challenge, I told myself that, you know, if I do get addicted, I have to be fine with that. Because I wasn't going to do this challenge unless I was okay with losing it. And there were many times throughout this challenge where I, like, genuinely thought I was I was going to lose. It was, it was day four, I believe, of my rehab process where I was just... I was borderline about to take one. Not because it was super like terrible and I couldn't live without it. It's just like, I just wanted the headaches and the sweating and just the feeling empty in my head to go away. And I knew that would fix it, but, but yeah, I was so close to losing it, but I kept strong and I'm proud of myself for that. Honestly, this challenge has given me way more appreciation for people struggling with uh, addiction. And I totally get why people have such difficulty quitting now. That's it true. fucking sucks. Honestly, I think if I wasn't so motivated Not that I'm to an quit addict, but for this video, you know, I know a couple of them. I don't think I would have. To be honest, I think the only way you can quit Nicotine, I mean, I can't really speak on any other addiction, but at least with nicotine, I think the only way you can actually quit and not go back and not be tempted by going back is that if you have a really good reason not to. So, I don't know, make a bet with your friends or put stakes on it and be accountable because I was like this close to failing this challenge and if I didn't have the external motivation of this video, I don't think I would have succeeded in, in my unaddiction process. It's just so easy to keep feeding your addiction. One of my buddies has been quitting Nick for a year now. Damn. 
And I think he just hasn't been able to do it because he hasn't put big enough oh, stakes wait. on it. And actually gave him a reason why he needs to quit other than just, I want to quit. And while the rehab process sucks, I promise you that the short term pain of doing the rehab process and quitting is way better than the consequences of just putting these weird ass chemicals in your body for years. So if you're watching this and you're addicted to nicotine or anything else for that matter, please, please give yourself a reason to quit. Thanks. And what do you think about nicotine? Would you ever try it? No. No? no. Why no. not? Because it's shitty. Oh, dang. He flat out said it was shitty. Oh, all right then. All right, make sure y'all niggas like, stop being addicted, bro. Facts.